Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to link or insert Excel data in PowerPoint and update like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. In order to transfer data from Excel spreadsheet to PowerPoint, we use a simple copy and paste method. Moving on to Excel, in the Excel document we have an employee progress bar and a column chart as a result of this data. For example, we need only a part of the data, namely the progress bar, then select it and copy it. Go back to PowerPoint, select the desired slide here and insert the progress bar. Right-click and select the needed insertion option. If you select the first option, then the data will be inserted with the presentation format. If we select the second one, then the insert will be with the source format, that is, the Excel file. If we select the third one, then we can edit the inserted data in Excel later. The fourth option inserts the data as a picture, and we won't be able to edit it later. And the fifth option inserts all the data into one text cell. For example, we will select the third option with the ability to edit. The data is inserted, we can analyze the table a little by pulling on the edge. Now we click twice on the table and the built-in Excel window opens in which we can edit the data at our discretion. Using this method, the copied data in the PowerPoint will not be linked with the Excel document in any way. Whatever we change in the Excel file will not affect the data in the PowerPoint in any way. Let's change that. We return to Excel, copy the progress bar and go to PowerPoint. This data is not needed, delete it. Go to the upper left corner of the Home tab and click the arrow under the Paste button. Next select Paste Special, Paste Link and here select Paste as Microsoft Excel Worksheet Object and click OK. At first glance, nothing has changed, but if we open the Excel file and change something in it, it will immediately be reflected in the table inserted in PowerPoint. And even if we close PowerPoint and work only with the Excel file, for example, we will make some change to the data, formatting, and then relaunch the PowerPoint file. And as you can see, PowerPoint started with this window, in which we can immediately update all the links that are on the slides. And even if we don't do this, we select Cancel, we will still be able to update the data by right-clicking and selecting Update link. And the table will be updated. This is how we can copy a part of the document and link it to the Excel file. But there are cases when you need to paste the entire Excel sheet into PowerPoint at once. Then we do the following. Go to the Insert tab and then click the Object button in the Text section. In the window that opens, select the Create from File checkbox, then click Browse. We find the Excel file that needs to be pasted, select it. And be sure to check this box so that the inserted data is linked to the original Excel document. Click OK. And we inserted not only the progress bar, but also the chart that was nearby. And the inserted data is completely linked to the Excel file. Just remember, if you have several worksheets in the Excel document, the one that is currently active will be inserted. That is, uh, this is the sheet that you see first if you open the Excel document. That's all I wanted to tell you. Now you know more. Thanks for watching.